while you go to kiss your little baby on their forehead, you all of a sudden notice this yellow scaly coating. Ooh, what gives? Well, it's probably cradle cap. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you five natural ways you can remedy it. Hi, I'm Genevieve Howland, author of the Mama Natural Week-by-Week -week Guide to Pregnancy and Childbirth. Now, if you have a little baby, be sure to sign up for my weekly free emails on baby's first year. I'll have a link for you in the video description below. So let's dive into cradle cap. First know this is a very common condition that usually pops up within the first month or two of baby's life, sometimes later, but it's very common. It's actually infantile dermatitis. And these greasy, scaly, yellow patches will show up on the scalp, but also sometimes under the armpits, in between the inner thighs, anywhere where moisture shows up, okay, around the um, diaper line. And it can be unsightly, don't get me wrong, but it's generally nothing to be too concerned about. Luckily, there's some really gentle and easy ways you can treat it. So let's talk about it. The first thing you want to do is to soften the area with oil. So find a raw organic vegetable oil like olive oil or coconut oil. And what you want to do is take a small little teaspoon into your hand and then gently massage it into baby's scalp. Okay, this is going to help to soften the skin. It's going to help to dislodge some of these scaly, crusty formations. And then just take a nice little baby comb or baby brush and comb or brush your way through the baby's scalp to help stimulate that area, stimulate the production of new skin cells, and loosen up those patches. Number two, you can make a special apple cider vinegar rinse. Okay, what you want to do is take two tablespoons of raw apple cider vinegar, mix it into about a quarter cup of water. Make sure it's mixed real nice, and then get baby into a bathtub, protect their eyes, and simply put this kind of tonic onto their scalp. Massage it in, let it sit for about 10 minutes, and then very carefully just rinse it off. Nowadays, they make these really cool buckets that kind of prevent getting the water in baby's eyes. Get the hair nice and clean and wash this solution off. But apple cider vinegar has a wonderful pH is that it's going to help rebalance the skin's mantle. It's gonna help dislodge these cradle cap scales, and it's going to help promote healing. Number three, exfoliate with a brush. Now I alluded to this before, but you want to find a baby brush, okay? Usually these are made with really soft bristles. So what you want to do is just gently stimulate the baby's scalp with this brush, okay? So this is a very gentle form of kind of dry brushing or skin brushing. It's going to help to stimulate new cell production and cell turnover and help to kind of sloth off this cradle cap. This can be very effective combined with the tonic that I mentioned earlier, as well as the natural vegetable oils. Now, before I dive into tips number four and five, let's back up for a minute and talk about what could potentially be causing cradle cap. There could be some microbiome issues, okay? So some babies are given antibiotics for whatever reason, whether they got sick or GBS or something happened and they needed some medicine, but this can disrupt their microbiome. Also, sometimes moms will be administered antibiotics during their delivery or during their labor, and this also can affect the baby's microbiome or the mom's microbiome, and if she's nursing, this can affect the baby, okay? The point is, there's a little bit of an imbalance in the good and bad bacteria in the baby's system. So some ways you can support that is first starting with mama. If you're a breastfeeding mom, you can tweak your diet a little bit and also take some healing supplements to help baby's cradle cap. Probiotics are gonna help mama's microbiome but also benefit baby as some of those positive benefits come through the breast milk. You also want to be sure mom is getting plenty of magnesium, zinc, and B vitamins, as this all can affect baby and also help to support healthy skin in baby. Number five, you can focus in on baby. They make special infant probiotics. We have a whole article diving into my favorite brands. I'll put a link to that in the video description below. Um, but the point is, support your baby's microbiome. So you can add a little bit of this infant probiotic powder to breast milk, kind of hand express it, and then spoon feed it to them. Or if you're bottle feeding, that's really easy, just plop it in the bottle and feed it to baby. Um, if baby's on solids, you can mix it into their solid food. But the point is you wanna boost their biome. Some moms even make a topical solution with a baby probiotic and actually apply it to the skin because our skin also has a microbiome to it as well. So consider that also some moms have had success using certain homeopathic remedies that support healthy skin. Now you'll wanna work with your doctor or do a little searching on what some of those best remedies would be, but it's something to consider. 
So there you have it, five ways you can treat cradle cap naturally, but always remember that cradle cap in itself is not harmful. It might not be the most attractive thing, but it's not gonna harm you or baby. It's just sometimes part of the process and it will go away, trust me. Now, if baby's skin ever starts to ooze or bleed, of course, always check in with your doctor to get more help. Before I close up, remember to get more free tips and tricks about baby's first year, be sure to sign up for my free email series. I'll have a link in the video description below and we'll catch you next time.